All right, well, I was going to record bringing some of these trucks home, but I didn't know how comfortable the fellow would be who gave us these trucks. I didn't know if he'd be comfortable with me recording, getting them or not, so I didn't record any of it. So I am sorry, but I didn't want to invade the gentleman's privacy. He's a pretty good friend of ours. He may not have minded, but I didn't have the time to ask because we were crunched for time to get these home. Now, I'll show you what we ended up getting. So this is a, this, so there's no cab or box that came with this one, but this here is about a 92 to 94 Ford. It's, it's a, got a decent frame under it, uh, decent rear bumper. Engine transmission, the engine's a straight six, so it's a 300, 4.9 I believe they call them, 4.9 liter, 300 cubic inch. Fuel injected. It has the uh, automatic transmission with the uh, transfer case. Now it's not a separate mount or divorce transfer case. I grew up calling it a separate mount. Uh, but it does have the manual locking hubs at the front. And then he gave us this one as well. We pulled the bumper off there. We ripped the bolts out. But it's been sitting for a long time. Hmm. It's back. <laughs> uh, it does have a low tire on it now but we put air in it. Now this one needs a fuel pump. All in all, it's not that bad really. I think someone's tried to paint it before, but it's not as bad as it looks. If I open this up in here, these trucks sat for a long time. That's what it's looking like in there. These here, they're still, still really solid. Uh, the bottom of the doors are pretty solid. This one has the, this, so this one here is in 92, uh, eighth month, eighth month of 92, third month of 92, it's right there in fact. So third month of 92, somebody's uh, give it a quick paint job as well, you can see it was a dark color in there. Broken windshield, but this one needs a fuel pump, I believe, and some tires, of course brake lines, I have to go through them because it sat for a long time. But it has the uh, four speed, the five speed, so it's a, it's got the overdrive, so four gears. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Wait, no, there's no overdrive in this. Sorry. It's got first, second, third, fourth, and reverse. I thought it had overdrive, but it does not. Now maybe that's what they called an overdrive, but I thought they thought the overdrive had five, but this is a four gear with reverse. Manual four wheel drive. Uh, like I say, it's not in that bad of condition, I guess, really, for... I mean, remember, these were, were free. A buddy of ours gave it to us. The doors all open and close good. Uh, let me show you what it looks like on the other side here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in the back, too. I have to go through some steel and stuff. He gave it all to us. I do have taillights that came with it. So this side here, I think somebody has tried to fix over there, but that's fine. But that's what it looks like here. I'll open this door. You can see it's still pretty good in here as well. In behind the seat is really good as well on this one. Right here. I don't see any holes. A bit of surface rust, but there's no holes in this at the back. I don't think, not that I've seen yet, but I haven't really looked that much either. Uh... Like I say, this so this one here is pretty much exactly the same truck as that one. That one's parts for this one. Manual locking hubs on the front as well. This is four-wheel drive. This one has the standard, but that one has the automatic transmission. Ooh, it's thundering. Now, Heather and I went at it and we started sorting out this as well because I'll show you why I started sorting the stuff out for our old truck here because I ended up I'm trying not to shake this too much I ended up he gave us this one as well down here this one is an 82 I think 1982 it looks like it's got brand new tires on the back uh, I think a fairly new clutch and pressure plate in it it's also got the other spare tires and rims for those trucks out there Right there. It's not bad in here either, this truck. 
I mean, inside, it does need a fair bit of work, so I'm not going to fix this cab. That's what it looks like there. I mean, the cab's not too bad on it yet. It needs work, but I won't be fixing it. I really should roll up the windows too in case it rains. But two brand new rear tires, or they look fairly, look pretty brand new. I could be wrong. Now this one here, it is a few years older than the one I'm fixing for Heather, the one I'm doing the cab. Heather's trying to keep out of the camera, but that's okay, babe. It's not a big deal. Um, so that's what it looks like on this side here. This one starts and runs pretty good as well. It's got, it is the XL, not the XLT, so it does some, has some rust on the doors and it's, it's been patched, you know, it's got a few holes in the floor, but it starts and it runs. The float is stuck in the float bowl. So uh, if you hook up the fuel line to the carburetor, it overflows. I put some of my other parts in here I had for these Fords, XLT, they go right here. I'm gonna roll up this one. Heather, how would you like to roll up the other window, please? They're all manual crank windows and they all work really good. So let's open the, the hood here. It looks like it has pretty much, looks like it has a pretty much brand new engine in this one. You, you probably can't see it here. Is my flashlight in there stuck on the door, the cab of that truck? Oh, it's right here, Heather. Sorry. It's right here. This came with a lot of spare parts as well. There was a lot of spare parts in here. But let me see if I can show you what the engine looks like. So whoever replaced the engine, you see the color there? Look at it. It's not got a lot of, a lot of kilometers or miles. It looks like they've put their old valve cover. It looks like they ordered a long block, uh, maybe through Target Master or whoever back in the day. That's who we used to get them from when I worked at the body shop. But it looks like they painted up the top valve cover, the lifter cover, and the oil pan. It looks like they painted it silver. I'm pretty sure they either rebuilt it or they bought a replacement engine for it. Even the motor mounts are painted blue. So maybe they had it out and rebuilt the engine at one point in time and, and uh, put it back together. It does start and run. Let me see this, babe. I think that battery is probably dead, though. I'll see. Now there is no fuel line hooked up. You can see in here, there's no fuel line hooked up to the fuel pump because like I say, when it's hooked up, it just uh, bubbles over in the carburetor. Let's see, I think that battery was dead. We're gonna give it a shot though. We'll see what it's like here. It hasn't ran in a couple days. No, battery's dead, but that's okay. It's got, let me see that please, babe. This one here has an older four speed as well. This is just two wheel drive, this one. But this engine, transmission and rear end is going to go in my old 1966. It'll be, it's carbureted. So I'll put that in my 1966, but that's not all. Now, so we brought the frame home yesterday this morning. We started about seven o'clock this morning bringing the other two home. So I've been using my brother's truck here. He lent this, his Dodge to us, but we brought this one home as well. Ooh, I see the rear tires going low on this. So this one here is the one we're going to probably fix and drive right away. That tire was holding air, but we, I mean this morning, it's got all the original hubcaps. Uh, it had all the original wheels with it. So look here, this is what it looks like. So the trim here, okay, this rubber, whatever it is, is coming off there. I mean, I could glue it back on if I wanted to. Bumper's pretty straight, tailgate's straight. Uh, it was a little stiff to open. Not too bad, but I mean, all in all, there's a little bit of rust there, no hole yet. But inside it's not too dirty. We're going to take the cap off of it. I'm thinking it's the cap maybe that saved it all those years. 
We haven't washed this yet, but we're gonna wash it. We're gonna clean it up. We're going to see what it needs. It does have, so it had brand new brakes on the back. So brand new brake drums, but this sat for a long time from what I gather. I don't remember how long he told me, but it did sit for quite a while. Uh, yeah, he bought it and he said it was pretty much certified when he got it, but he didn't need it because he had a, another truck, I believe, and he wanted a four wheel drive and this is only a two wheel drive. This is a 1982, no, 1986. It's the first year they come out with fuel injection, and this has a 302. Now, uh, so anyways, when I went up there and we lifted up with the tractor, we couldn't get the rear wheels to turn, so we pulled the wheels off and we popped the brake drums off of it. Brake drums are brand new, shoes are brand new, but they were stuck and we had to fight with them. So now I gotta buy new shoes for the back, I think, because they're pretty bad. But when I was lifted up, I seen the shocks were brand new as well. Just the outside's a little rusty now. Uh, that's the rim for it. And I have, so here's what the front looks like here. The front, front tire. Brand new rotors and pads on the front look like brand new calipers. Looks like brand new, brand new uh, park brake cables. It does need the mirror fixed on it. But here's what it looks like inside here. It needs a little work right there. What is this? It needs a little work there, but that's nothing I fixed worse. Uh, there is what the, there's the uh, hubcaps. Oh, here's the, here's the uh, dash cover for it as well. And, uh, sorry, I'll get these. So it came with all these hubcaps, every last one of them. But the drums, look at that. They were, they were brand new when they were put on. The interior, it just needs a clean. I think it's not too bad, but we'll see. Now, the doors, they all seem to close good, just like that. Uh, F-150 XL. I have, so, so if the chrome doesn't clean up, which I think it will. Man, I wish I had some more of that Flitz polish. I'd use it on there, but I'm out. Anyway, if I need, if it won't clean up, I have spare grills for these. So this is the one we're probably going to fix right away. So I don't even think the windshield is broken in this one. No, I don't even see any stone chips or anything in this one. It's too bad it's missing some of the, uh, the black that was in the middle there. But that's okay. So let's open this one up here. That's what it looks like in here. Seat belts are pretty solid too. They're not pulling through like some of them I've had. Can you hold this babe, please? Oh, it does have a good CB that came with it. And it has the external speaker up there too for the CB. I know it's hard to see and I'm sorry. I'm looking forward to cleaning this. It, it does have, uh, it's got cruise control. Yeah, so it's got off, on, resume, set, excel, and coast. The horn works. Now, that's what the dash looks like. It's got 177,457, is that right? 177,457, nope. Nope, more than that because there's a decimal at the end. Anyways, so let's see if it'll start. It hasn't ran all day and we just put an old battery in it. I'm gonna pass that to Heather. We'll see if it runs. It does have old gas in here because this thing sat for a long time. But uh, let's see what it's like. If it runs there, we'll we'll undo the we'll undo the uh, straps and we'll we'll back it off here. Okay. <laughs> it does need a good fuel cleaning. Again. It will idle down. So this needs a vacuum, a brake booster. So I'm thinking it's sucking air probably through the vacuum booster. I think that's why it's got a vacuum leak, but I'll show you what it looks like under the hood here.
So I think he's got an air leak through there somewhere through the booster. It looks like he's got a lot of new parts on it. It is a 302, I believe. Yeah, it's starting to idle down now. Or it's going to quit one or the other. I'm not sure. But it ran good today. It's a 5 liter. So 302. Right there, 5 liter. No overdrive in it. It's a 3 speed automatic. So I'll pass the camera to Heather. I'm going to close this hood. It's nice and quiet. I like that. So let's undo this, Heather. We need the truck in the morning anyways. So I'm gonna undo this here. This is our car dolly. I just didn't have a truck to tow it, so I borrowed my brother's truck because he's down south right now. set these here for now. There we go. On the other side. Untie this. You smell the old gas, can't you? I'm gonna stick one of these on you. I don't know if you wanna do that. You're in the game now, baby. You're in the game. I'll put this here. So yes, our yard is filling up with the trucks, but I told Heather a while back and we agreed that we're done with newer style vehicles, no more. Mm -hmm. All older vehicles now. I'm getting away from all that. In fact, this one here is a little too new because it's fuel injection, but I understand this style of fuel injection. That new stuff is just crazy. I am going to put some air in that rear tire. So let's start this up. Uh, on, choke it. our little gasoline compressor as well it'll reside probably in the back of our truck once we get one of these fixed up I think the new tires off that back one over there will go on here Twenty-four pounds, need a little more than that. Brand new brake cable brand new park brake cables, I mean. Yeah, oh brand new hitch too. Like the tow hitch on the back. It's brand new. I don't think it's ever been used. Thirty-four pounds, just a little more than they usually put in there, it'll be okay.
fuel off. I'm gonna roll up the windows on this thing too this evening. Before I forget, brother is good enough to lend it to me. I don't want to get it all wet on him. Alrighty. Don't need it running, do I? Okay, I'm gonna close this tailgate. Now, let me see. I wanna show them what that hitch is like. Brand new trailer hitch on the back, so I don't have to build one. <laughs> Which is weird, isn't it? Yeah, look at this. Can you hold those heather boots? Mm -hmm. So that, look at that. It's all shiny. I don't think it's ever been, I don't think it's ever towed anything. The exhaust got a little hole over there. Somebody has disconnected the rear uh, fuel tank. It's got two tanks on it. But all the mounting brackets, everything, even the crossers on the bottom, on this, on this box, still seems to be pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. Let me climb under here and show you what it looks like under here. I didn't really get a close look at it under here because we were bringing it out, right? We're getting it taken out of there, but yeah, like, look at that. That's all, that's all paint still. It's been oil sprayed under here lots. Oh yeah, I know, that's good. Let me see here. That's, that's all oil spray. Look at the cab mounts for up here. I mean, that's, I think that's phenomenal for up here. Yeah, somebody's really oil sprayed that, so oil spraying really, really makes a difference here. My goodness, that's that's still all uh, that's still all good paint under there. This is gonna last us, I think, a long time. Yeah, you can see under here where the paint, those, these bright spots, I don't know what it is, but that's, that's literally, look at the thick, that oil. That oil is on my fingers. So it has been oil sprayed every year. Yeah, hey, I like that. The frame's in good condition too. Something's been under here. But something's been moving around on there, unless that was us. But everything's all looking good under here. The crossers are all really good condition. Cab mounts are excellent on that, babe. That's good. It's really good because it's, like I say, it's been oil sprayed. Okay, I'm gonna close this up. So can you see in the back here? Can you see how, see how like the paint's still on there? Not too bad, eh? Not too shabby at all, look at this. We're gonna take the cap off. We'll eventually get a good cap and put on it maybe later, but. I wanna fix this as well. Now this here, this shock, it binds a bit. That uh, doesn't last that side, but okay, well, let's see if she backs off here. Where am I heading for here? I don't want to run into anything. I'll pull up there and back into here. No brakes either. No mirror as well. I want to adjust that mirror so I can see. Did that come off this? I don't know. Yeah, it did. Pull off the truck, truck cap here. I want to see if I can turn this so I can see something. I don't think it'll stay there, but I have spare mirrors for that. Let's see that, babe. So it does need a good cleaning. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's always under your feet, that one, eh? As you can see, it does need a good cleaning. But for 1986, it runs nice. It's nice and quiet. 
Underneath is all oil sprayed, so the cab underneath is in really good condition. It's what we were looking for. I don't care that it's automatic. Watch this, watch the doors. Close just like that. So a few spots needs to be touched up. You know, there's a bit of rust on the sides, but. All in all, pretty solid truck. And we have enough parts, as you can see around here, to keep these going for quite a while. So we have Heather's truck. So we have that spare cab way down there. There's a spare cab way down there. Then we have Heather's frame, just the other side of that uh, side by side. And the cab is in the shed I'm welding up. We have that truck there for parts. And then we have that white one there for parts. That white one. And then we have these two trucks out here. Now these cabs out here, they will interchange. They're just a little newer is, is all. But uh, like I say, that's going to be, that's probably going to be our new truck we drive. And that's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, so I'm going to take that out, I think. I'm going to back it up somewhere out of the way here. I'm not exactly sure where. Here, babe. Well, I'm going to see if my uh, camera lady will climb in and we'll go for a little ride out around the yard and we'll come back in with it and we'll see what it's like. Here you go, Heather. Your chariot awaits. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure it's, uh, I don't know if there's enough room in here. We can make room for you, right? These don't need to be in here. That needs to be in here. But these don't. These these he left in the truck. We'll I'll set these in the back for now, you know. Put a bunch of stuff in here. It's not gonna take much. Especially, like, I don't think it's take much to put this on the road. I don't care about the stuff at my feet. What's that, babe? I don't care if that stuff's at my feet. Oh, I do. I don't want to bet. I don't want to bet, babe. That's all. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, there we go. It's good now. Okay, can you climb in there, Heather? Mm-hmm. We'll use your other, we'll use your other uh, seat, maybe. All right. Definitely need to wash the windows in it and how to put the uh, CV back in here. But, oh yeah, the brakes don't work either, but hopefully old turkey man gets out of the way here. I'll just go slowly, give him a chance to move. You see him over there? He's not on my side, but I, he sounds like he's in front. I'll just go slow. He's out of the way now. Okay. So, roll up the windows. Hey, can you roll up your window as well, babe? Yep. Too shabby, yeah, that's a pretty comfortable ride, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Junk's are shifting. <laughs> yeah, the windshield definitely needs a good clean. Oh yeah, it does. Absolutely no brakes on it yet, but that's okay. I have driven worse. It's pretty quiet, isn't it? This. It I 
think I'm going to like this truck. I'm sorry for the camera. I'm trying not to shaking. Oh, it's, it's, it's a bit rough out here. Yeah. I'll have to go through and see what it needs, right? I mean, that's normal when you get something like this. Especially something that's sat for years, but I think it'll be okay. Where is your hose, your, it's, your uh, sprayer right, end? It, the sprayer end? I don't know. Since when you used it, I don't know. It's over there. I don't know no, you it. used it last, the sprayer end. Didn't you use the sprayer end on it? Nope. Okay, so it's up by the grapes. Alrighty. No mirror on that side, no brakes. Makes it a little tough to back into where I want to go. Oh, there's lots of room I see now. All right. We'll leave it here until we go to wash it. That won't be tomorrow. Be the day after. We have to go look at those windows tomorrow for the pole barn. Yep. I think Heather and I are probably going to paint this red because it was red before at one time. Somebody has painted it this color before. You can see here in the inside, it was red. So I think we'll put it back to the original red color. Yeah. All the doors open and close nice. You know, I think it's gonna be a good truck for us. We have a lot of spare parts for it, that's for darn sure. It needs a good cleaning, it sat. I don't know how long it sat there, but it looked like it sat for about 10 years by the bus. It probably didn't, but it looked like it did. It looked like it sat for quite a while. I think it's a pretty good find. The cap will come off. I will see if I have another cap for it. I think maybe we'll clean up that white cap over here on this white truck. Maybe fix it up and use it. It's starting to look like Ford Ranch around here. That Dodge looks like he's getting nervous sitting here. <laughs> it's okay. It'll save us from buying a vehicle and parts for the next few years. We'll have enough parts here. We'll clean that up. We'll clean that one. That cap over there is broken on the top, same same way that one's broken as well. I think the snow load got on it in the winter and collapsed it, but yeah. We will uh, we will probably show you how what it takes to clean that up. We'll wash it up. It was so hot today, folks, we couldn't even work outside. It was like, it was almost 40 degrees here in the, uh, in the sun today. Yeah, it was pretty warm. Anyway, there we go, folks. That will be our new mode of transportation. A 1986, I believe it's 86, Ford F-150 XL. 302, eight cylinder, 302, 302 cubic inches, or five liter, however you wanna say it. And it is a 
eighth month of 85, so it's 86. So 86 was the year they brought out, I think the first year they brought out fuel injection. So it's got a good uh, CB antenna on there by the look of it. It's got those moose whistles up there, which I will take off because they never really work anyways. No breaks in the windshield at all that I can see. There's a few things that don't work, like the wipers, but they're probably stuck from sitting. But believe me, I have so much parts around here, it's unbelievable. I didn't even look to see if the tail lights are any good, I believe so. Yeah, that tail light looks good. That lens, this tail light lens is good. It's got some kind of a cocoon on it there. Maybe Wilford Brimley's in there. <laughs> if you know that movie cocoon it's a really good cap... movie what's that babe that's a really good movie it is heather's over there so hope she's not mumbling too much in the microphone because she's being recorded <laughs> <laughs> they can hear me i'm sure what's that they can hear my annoying voice anytime yeah no i meant when you were talking to the cat oh i wasn't talking to her okay i made sure i didn't Anyway, yeah, two she fuel tanks, talking, the rear though. one's not working, the front one does work, the front fuel tank's hooked up, the back one is not. I wish that cap was in good condition, but it is not, unfortunately. Anyway, that is our truck, so we will uh, keep you update as we go ahead and build this and get it ready for us to drive. It needs a good wash first right away. And the building, haven't done much on it yet, but we've been slowly gathering parts and stuff to build ourselves a good truck. Anyways, let us know what you think, folks, of our Ford truck collection. Uh, can never have too many parts when you're out here, especially... I, I I don't care much for the fact that this is fuel injected. I wish it would have been carbureted, but it's fuel injected and I don't want to switch it over. The body's really good on it. I, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's good for the year of it up here, 1986, up here in the salt. Like, those fenders look really good. We'll uh, sand that, we'll wash it really good. Degrease it, sand it down, prime it, mask it, paint it, fix the holes that has to be fixed on it, and uh, we'll get it ready for safety. We'll put some good tires on it, some good rims, and uh, hopefully it looks good. Anyways, you folks take care, and we will talk to you another time. Bye-bye, all.